is as how Ross is Prone right now. rolls. <clears throat> um, now, it's the same thing as it was before. One person at the head, and there's going to be two firefighters, or you and then another firefighter, right? So let's say Kayla is the normal responder, and she's going to have an uh, extra firefighter. Who's an extra Just go. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. okay, so you know how in a normal supine role, the board was opposite to the patient? Here, the board. Over the patient. <laughs> oh, he's looking in this direction. Okay, so you would be on this side. The board is going to be where you are if it's a full roll. Okay. Can you fix your left leg? Like? This is kind of weird. Thanks. Okay. All right. Now, this time, this this arm will be straight, straight back, and the board will be on your side. Okay. <coughs> okay. Now you're gonna do a 45 degree, and you're gonna have the board to rest on your legs. Okay. I'll be so impressed both you guys can do this one. <laughs> both people's. Yeah, both people's legs. And now the, the the goal of this is to get them on the board, but not have you stuck on the board. Too. Yeah. So it's very quick and fast. And Johnny, I think you should do it instead of Alex, uh, so that yeah, there's gonna be a demonstration. And then you can all rotate. And do it. So you're gonna roll him on the board so that he's facing this way and that way. And so that when he rolls, his head's gonna be facing up. Mm -hmm. right? Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. And now the position of the hands, okay? Everyone usually gets this wrong, but you wouldn't want your hand to be facing this way, because after you roll, you're gonna be like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's gonna be really uncomfortable for you, and you're gonna have to have a firefighter switch with you, and you're gonna have to switch back. So to prevent that, just try to think ahead of where you're gonna place your hand. And usually, the thumbs <coughs> are in the direction of the eyes, okay? So thumbs, direction of the eyes. All right, does that make sense to everyone? Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> All right, and person at the head is always person counting. And again, you want them to roll on the board, and as the board is going down, the people that are on the board move back. And okay. then, Richmond, I don't, I, what I was, I would always be a little bit further over, too. Because, I mean, you're going to have to scoot, so. So, you don't want to have your legs all the way under the board, because <coughs> it's a really quick movement. And the faster you do it, then the faster, the less time you have to get out of it, get out of the way. Mm -hmm. All right, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. So. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right, on three, all right? God. One, two, three. Nice. Wow. Okay, so. Very nice. Basically what you kind of want, and from here you want to do scissor. Okay, okay. so everyone's going to do this. Oh, so the scissor. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty you want good. Me to go to yeah, the other side, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Um, to the left, one inch down, four inches. On three. One, two, three. Uh, all the way up, six inches. On three. One, two, three. Cool. Alright, can you get back on pro? Right. Go back and roll. Am I doing it again? Or we don't want to be yeah, patient. I just have to mention one. <laughs> All right. So, um, so uh, the only difference um, between this and a supine roll is that um, after your initial assessment, you guys are going to do a back physical. Okay, and you're only going to do a physical for the back. Um, you don't at this point. Um, if you could try to try to assess the breathing and the jugular vein extension, if you can. But it's best to do that later when he's supine. So. Uh, responder one, here we go. Kayla, can, she's gonna do a back physical first before she rolls them onto the board, and this is to make sure that there's no injuries that could um, hurt him more if he was on the board. So like, remember, you're gonna look for all the bent injuries. She, she could still do equal chest rise. She can check the back. She can't check the abdomen from the back, um, but she could still do the pelvic, um, just in the in, in, inward motion. Um, she can't see his groin, but he could go down all the extremities. After he's on the board, get on the board. Roll. Once he's on the board, after he rolls them, Kill's gonna do a front physical. So now she can better inspect the eyes, all the jugular, the <coughs> things like that, um, trachea, um, and then the rib cage. Clavicle sternum. Clavicle sternum. All the. Yeah, we appreciate that. Once she's done with the front, then she could go ahead and put on the collar. Would she do his neck like this? Yeah, well, she could have done that from the back, and she could do it now. Okay. Also, um, remember how Zach said that thing about moving to a neutral position? Uh, most of the times, like, um, when you find him, yeah, you, you'll end up like this because you never initially did it when he was prone. So now when he's on the board, you could go ahead and try to get as neutral as best you can. When do you stop? Resistance. Okay, cool. 
<clears throat> but yeah, the uh, big difference is um, with prone, you do a back physical and then a front physical, and you color after he's on the board. With the supine, you color first and then you roll. And this is with a prone conscious patient. Yeah, 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 prone conscious. Um, oh yeah, sorry, um, prone um, conscious. So they're ANL times three, and they're perfectly stable. Um, however, if they're unresponsive, um, you don't know if they have an airway, so you need to roll them over first to supine, and then just do the same way. Before right you have a backboard, right. though, so. Did that just confuse all of you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. did. Yeah, did that make sense? <laughs> What do you have? We have chalk. Let's just do it though. Let's actually show it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So there's 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 really just three scenarios. There's um. Sorry. It all depends on how you do your initial assessment. So for alert patients who are ANO times three. Um, sorry. If if for um patients who are alert, verbal, or painful, um you know that they already have an airway, right? Um so um you don't have to flip them over as fast as possible. Um, so then you're just doing just learning with the prone. What do you guys do? <laughs> However, um, <laughs> what did you do wrong? Is he punishing you? Why is he in this light position? Yeah. Anyway, but for and CPR, you guys learned that for anyone who's unresponsive, you're gonna try to you put them in supine first before you do anything because you need to assess their airway. Um, so if you find patients who are prone and they are unresponsive, you need to do an emergency flip. Okay. Um, so, um, Kayla and Johnny are doing their initial assessment. They find out that he's unresponsive. He's not responding to pain. The first thing that should be going through his head is, oh shit, I need to check his airway. Let's flip over as fast as possible. Kayla's going to quickly grab inline, and Johnny's going to just do a um, quick, quick, quick um, roll. One, One three. Yep. One, two, three. Right now he's supine, and he think a better assess his airway, do the jaw thrust, and assess the breathing. So that's only if you have a prone, unresponsive patient. You need to get them over to their super. In all other cases where they're alert, verbal, or painful, you do the back physical, you get them on board, front physical, call them. Okay. Who's confused? So. It's okay to be confused. <laughs>